guys, Josh with Bay Area Nerf here. I want to do a quick uh, mod guide on the new Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper Blaster. So, um, really quick, just going to take off all of the unnecessary parts and put them aside. And um, what I have here is a brand new couple of got a spring and some catch springs from Orange Mod Works. Bing, bing. Uh, this is just the uh, five kilogram spring. So these are the double trigger catch springs. We're going to throw them in here. This is the spring that can basically be used for the Retaliator Rampage EAT. It's all the same. So I'm going to show you how to do that and take out the AR. I'm not going to take out any locks. This is not my blaster and it was not requested. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's start out. Uh, I've got my screwdrivers here. We've got a magnetic bowl for all of the screws. I'm gonna get this guy apart and I'll probably fast forward this while we're doing that. Okay guys, so we've got this guy apart. As always, you wanna make sure it's not primed or anything when you're doing this so the spring doesn't fly out. Um, I actually didn't have to get any of the screws out and put them in the magnetic bowl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this off to the side. And you have basically a, uh, a rampage here. So um, there's a lot of different stuff you could do if you were looking to you know, take him part of the barrel off of the Dremel, you can definitely do that. I'm just gonna remove the faux barrel and the little uh, orange tip here. So all we're really looking at replacing is this spring and this catch spring right here. I'm also going to remove the uh, air restrictors. I know, that, like I said, there are some locks and stuff in here. I'm just moving things for, uh, you know, ease of being able to get in here without springs flying all over the place. So hopefully I'll be able to make that happen without, uh, you know, springs getting everywhere. So we're going to take this guy out first. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty standard spring, guys. Nothing nothing special to see here. We are, like I said, going to be replacing it with this guy, but I do want to get that AR out. It, it isn't actually necessary, um, but I want to show you how to do it because it's super easy. Uh, I, I got this from Tactical Tag. If you had not seen his video, uh, he shows the air restrictor removal. It's super quick, super easy. So this is the catch spring here. We're just going to twist that guy off. and I'm going to put them in my... Uh, magnetic bowl here. I'm gonna open these guys up. What have I done? Just need, <clears throat> you just need one of these guys. They do come in packs of two and these are great for putting in basically any blaster you're you're gonna throw in an upgraded spring. Uh, you definitely want a upgraded catch as well. So twist it on there. There is a little nub. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little nub that it twists onto, so it'll stay. Um, all right, so you can really stop there if you'd like, put it back together, you're good to go. I'm gonna go one step further, I'm gonna take out the air restrictor. Like I said, on most of these elite blasters, uh, it isn't necessary, but I wanted to show you guys how really simple it is. So we're just gonna take this whole piece out here. <clears throat> And it's weird for me because I'm leaving stuff in. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. This is this is what we're looking at right here. We want to get this piece. We move all that. So your AR is pretty much right smack dab in the center here. You're gonna need a small uh, a small screwdriver, and there's a little pin right in here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That you're gonna need to push out so that you can get access to this entire, um, this guy. <clears throat> Boom. There we go. This is the pin. Don't lose that. I'm gonna throw it right there. And voila. So here's the magic, guys. Normally this is uh, solvent welded together, but this one, slight twist, 
pull apart. Hey, look at that. There's your uh, dart peg, the entire AR and spring. You can put this back together, twist it back into place, and you are pretty much good to go. Uh, if you like, there are some... Uh, there we are. There are some uh, pieces of plastic that are just there to keep the spring from popping out. You can go ahead and cut those out if you really want to. Like I said, uh, none of this was requested, so I might actually throw these back in because uh, the person I'm doing this for uh, doesn't want to have to worry about dry firing their blaster. So we should be good here. Let's get this guy back together. Like I said, I'm going to contact person I'm doing it. It's just a friend. It's not like I get commissions, guys. Trust me, I'm not that great. This isn't anything amazing or uh, special. So just pop that guy in. You're going to want to get it to the you know, midway point in there so that it's actually in both sides. Okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, hopefully at the game tomorrow we can test some stuff out. This is really well lubricated, guys. I'm surprised. Um, what am I doing? Hold on, let me grab a uh, Q-tip. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, you can simply apply it with your fingers, but I don't want to. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And this is just the uh, silicone grease that comes with the Orange Mod Works. If you get a kit, I've had this for, honestly, a couple of years, because as you can tell, I don't mod a whole heck of a lot. Uh, you know, it's usually a blaster, just because I like it and want to test it out. And uh, if it's working out for me, <clears throat> I don't really change it up all that often. So, you know, I got this. Let me put it this way. I've had this pre-elite. That's how long I've had this, uh, this silicone grease. Gonna wiggle and get there's a peg like this on the other side and it just goes right in there okay there we are that's better that looks proper and let's get this guy in here oh my there's nothing to actually hold this guy in it's just sort of barely there so there we are looking good Uh, you can certainly uh, grease up this trigger if you like using some more silicone grease. I, eh, doesn't doesn't bug me the way it is. It really doesn't. Some of you will be like, "That's the wrong way to do it." Okay, don't know, don't care, uh, or not don't know, don't care. But I mean, it doesn't. I've I've greased them up before. And when I've used silicone grease on triggers, a lot of times I've actually ended up getting like dirt and grime in there. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, this is that new trigger catch. And this is obviously the new spring. Like I said, the super easy way to do it, throw that in, uh, just throw those two in and basically you can do nothing else. And you pretty much are gonna get close to the same performance. I can't imagine that taking this AR out is going to do much with uh, the way the new AR systems have been working. On all the Elite Blasters, they are just, actually, it's almost better to leave them in just because, you know, if you're dry firing, you're not going to have uh, this guy slamming, slamming back uh, against the your internals here. And uh, I believe we're pretty much done. So we're going to put this bad boy back together, make sure that uh, it shoots properly and everything uh, looks all right. But like I said, the very, very basic, super simple way, not taking out any locks. So you're still going to have slam fire. It's still going to... You know, not allow you to prime if you've already primed once, things like that. All that stuff is still in play, but that's because, uh, you know, like I said, the person I'm doing this for actually prefers that. So, and you know what? It's funny because I know a lot of people hate locks. They don't bug me. And I know people are like, well, I'm not going to double prime my blaster, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm like, well, it, it, I'm not going to either, so... 
it doesn't matter to me that they're in there, as opposed to I need them out because they stop me from doing something that I'm not supposed to or going to do. Um, but you know, it is what it is, as they say. Do what you will. This is just a super simple, quick, and easy way of doing it, as opposed to you know, doing all that other stuff. And you definitely can, by all means. Have fun, experiment, see what uh, what works best for you, what you like and dislike. Um, if you like leaving locks in, by no means think that you have to take them out because people on the internet said you had to. All right? Um, maybe you you want to have a loner blaster and you are afraid that people are going to actually you know mess it up because they don't know what the heck they're doing. I've loan blasters out plenty of times and gotten a lot of jams and uh, broken things because of that. If we can put this stuff back on. Leave that. There we go. Okay, so sorry, hopefully this hasn't been out of frame the entire time I've been doing this, but uh, we're gonna load up <clears throat> a magazine with all of the darts that come with it. So if I put them in the right way, that would have almost been extremely embarrassing and very bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking good. Let's uh, let's check right here and see if. Hey, it turns red. That looks good. And it's still red when we fire. It turns black. All right, so we are good. Darts are coming out. That's nice. Definitely is a harder prime, but that spring <clears throat> that's in there, the catch spring, is really what keeps it from getting caught. I've had some without the catch springs. And I didn't, I was like, well, why am I going to spend a dollar on a catch spring? And then I ran one with versus without. And with, if you prime back, it often will not catch, hence the catch spring. And, um, and you know, you'll get this, you'll go forward. And then when you start to fire, if you're not holding this, right, it won't stay in the back position. This will just move itself back a little bit and it won't fire. You actually have to hold it forward, but we don't have that problem. Let's try slam fire really quick. Sweet looking good so there you go guys like i said it's really simple super easy to mod if you do want to take that ar out it's really easy to do that um popping out those extra little tabs that are in there might be a little tough i don't know if i would recommend doing it i don't think that it's going to be worth it for that little tiny bit of airflow but uh that's it guys there it is the star wars uh first order stormtrooper blaster it is basically as everyone was saying just a rampage it is super easy, super quick to mod, uh, even if you want to take out that AR, like I said. And let's uh, fire it once without. I know people are going to cringe. You can definitely hear that. Um, it's a lot louder than if you had the AR in. It would be a little bit quieter. It would still kick hard, but you wouldn't get that sound. So anyways, um, yeah, taking it apart, putting it back together, really easy. Because it's smaller than the Rampage, I feel like it's less screws. It might just be me. I haven't counted them all out, but it, it I mean, it'll take you five, ten minutes to do this. I was just trying to keep things in frame and do a bunch of crap. So anyway, there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, stay safe, have fun, and happy tagging. All right. Let's see here. This guy we can pretty much set aside. He's going to stay like that. Because what we're really after 